How are you? I hope you're doing well. It's been a few days since I was able to uh, go ahead and come live, but I hope you're enjoying July so far, even though it's the second day of July. Uh, but um, <laughs> things are popping up on my computer screen. So, but happy uh, Monday. It is the first day of this week, first uh, of July. And so I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all staying cool. I think a lot of the country is really under a deep uh, heat wave here, and it's very warm here, but I'd rather put on my air conditioner than my heater. <laughs> so that's, that's the way I look at it. So very happy and blessed. But thank you all for popping in. We're going to do select your cards uh, that call to you. And I'm going to do what I did the last time where I, I, pick, I have three groups of cards, uh, three groups that have four cards in each group. And it'll give you a little bit more deeper, you know, explanation, a little bit more detail into the cards that you pick. Uh, good morning to you, Joanna, <laughs> or good evening to you. It is 6.55 p.m. here on the East Coast of the United States on uh, July 2nd. And uh, my name is Cindy St. Martin, for those who don't know me. And I am, uh, I am holistic healer, I'm a Reiki master. I'm an angel therapist, and I'm also certified in mindfulness. So thank you all for popping in. Hello, my beautiful cousin. It's hot, hot, hot. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's it's hot. <laughs> I, you'll never hear me complain about the heat. <laughs> uh, hello, beautiful Ian. Thank you for popping in. <laughs> um, so no, you'll never hear me complain about the heat. You know, I, I always find ways to cool off. Um, uh, but once I'm cold, uh, I takes a long time for me to warm up, so I won't complain about the heat. So welcome everyone. Thank you for coming uh, and spending this time with me. Give about another minute for people to come in. So this way, uh, go ahead and call on your angels. <laughs> call on your angels and uh, to help you select the right group of cards for you, okay? And then uh, to get the right message. Of course, it doesn't matter when you watch this video because you will be drawn to it. That means the angels will have messages for you. Now you can pick more than one pile, you can pick all of them. <laughs> you know, whatever you feel encouraged to go ahead and do. So um, go ahead and call on your angels uh, for your guidance to help you select the card that means to you. Um, Ian, well, we would have to do a, a one on one uh, right now because there's a lot of energies here. <laughs> And of course, you can spend time uh, quietly and and uh, quietly to connect and find out what the messages mean. <laughs> and they'll let you know. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to lower the camera. You go ahead and look at at the cards and uh, pick the. I'll uh, give you a minute or two or whatever time. The, the angels tell me when to turn them over. And then, uh, and then I'll, I'll show you the cards, okay? So go ahead, look there. There we go. All right, so this is, this is the first a group, this is the second group, and this is the third group. Okay, so one, two, and three. So go ahead and call on your angels and, and see uh, what you're drawn to. There are four cards in uh, each pile here. You pulled from the angel tarot. Archangel Power, Power Deck, uh, the Romance Cards, and then Angel Guidance. So follow through. So go ahead. If you're coming in and you're t and you're commenting, I can't see it until I put the screen back up. Okay. So go ahead and take a look and uh, take a deep breath and call on your angels to help you pick the cards that you are drawn to. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, I don't like to keep try not keep these videos too long. Uh, so the first card here on the first pile in the Angel Tarot is the Seven of Water. And this will also be the Seven of Cups in the Tarot deck. And the card reads: It says a complex decision, the need to do some research, stop procrastinating. Okay. Those who pick this pile, uh, there is decision 
that you have to make, either you or somebody around you. These are the energies that are around you. And this could be something you're already involved with or something's going to come up, okay? You have to stop putting it off. <laughs> you can't move forward with your manifestations if you keep putting off a decision. You have to make a choice. You have to make a decision in order to move forward. And don't worry uh, that you're going to make the wrong decision. You're not. <laughs> You're not. And even if you feel that you have, it's okay. You know that was the wrong decision, so go ahead and make the right one now. Uh, don't procrastinate. And, and the best thing to do is to go ahead and get as much information that you need before you make the decision. I know if I'm uh, purchasing something online, I like to read the reviews, what the people say about the product before I purchase it. So the same thing, when you make a decision or choice and you're having problems with it, Get some more information, but stop procrastinating. Stop putting it off. The universe is telling you it's time to move forward. We want to help you, but we can't help you if you don't move forward, okay, or make that choice, make that decision. And the second card here is three of Ariel. <laughs> and it reads, it says, what do you love? A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in a cooperative manner. Okay, what do you like to do? You know, what, what do you love? Maybe this is the, you know, the part where you have to make that complex decision. Choose what you love to do. Don't choose, um, you know, what people want you to choose or what you think, you know, people's opinions on what you should do or what you think is right. Do what you love. Okay, go ahead and make that choice for that. And then the Romance Angel card. Put this over. It says getting to know each other. And the card says as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, you know, maybe you have to talk this over, this, this complex decision that you have to make. You know, talk it over with someone you trust or care about, you know. And, you know, maybe they're, you know, come on board with you. Uh, you know, uh, speaking truthfully, whether it's a decision on relationship, work, job, you know, if it's something that you love, go ahead and share it with someone you trust or someone you love, your partner or whoever it is uh, that uh, you want to share because it's going to bring you a deeper uh, solid connection, okay? And then the angel guidance card is child. The card reads says, you care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All ch children, including your own inner child, requires love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. And of course, this is, could be the child that's in you. So maybe there's a decision uh, you know you have to make to be uh, maybe affecting children. You know, this could be adult children, it could be little children. Or maybe it's the child in you telling you, do what you love, do what you love. <laughs> like three of Ariel. Go ahead and love yourself. Go ahead and make the choice with love. You're being supported here to go ahead and do that. Okay. I, I was talking to, who was I talking to? Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the, uh, the babies I 94 just turned a year old. And I was in a store, I was trying to select a balloon, and I, and I, tell the, I told the girl, I said, um, I said, it's for a one-year-old little girl. I says, I don't know, which balloon to, do you suggest me to get? And, and she goes, oh, this one, that one. I says, you know what? She's not going to care what kind of balloon she gets. She's going to have fun with any balloon I give her. She's going to love it. I said, it's only us adults that worry about whether we're going to get the right balloon or not. So this is where I'm coming back to the childlike thing. Do what brings you joy. Stop worrying about what's uh, what's 
right and what's wrong, what people are going to think. Go ahead and make that decision. And, you know, and when I said that, and the girl says, you're absolutely right. I said, so give me the, the, the Disney princess one, <laughs> you know. I chose that one. I said, this isn't a complicated decision. Uh, you know, it's go ahead. She's going to, like, whatever balloon I get, she's going to enjoy it. And we need to be more childlike in that way. And stop making things difficult in our lives and just enjoy the simple uh, pleasures and simple things that are available to us all the time. So if you pick the second pile, the, the Queen of Water or the Queen of Cups is the first card. And it says relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. Okay, this, I really like this card. Um, we're talking about care and trusting, you know, and developing, uh, being open in your relationships. And, and they could be, you know, it could be intimate, it could be romantic, you know, it could be uh, family members, friends, work, um, any of those things. Uh, that really needs to uh, to develop into something more uh, for you to grow, uh, for you to maybe help somebody else grow, uh, you know, in that way. Um, but you have to care for yourself and others. So this is dealing with, you know, you and another person here. So, you know, speaking from your heart, speaking truthfully, uh, you know, rising above, uh, connecting to... Uh, your heart and trusting your intuition trust how you feel you know sometimes uh, we don't listen to our intuition or our gut and we do what's in our head and then we regret it so oh, my, my gut told me to not to do this but i went and did it anyway and so this is a perfect you know example of telling you don't do that <laughs> oh my goodness gracious the next card is the four of gabriel And the card reads says, time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. So here we're talking about, you know, relationships going to a higher level, things that, you know, things maybe that you've been working on. Uh, if you're working on relationships or wanting a relationship, yeah, it's going to, it's going to manifest when you care for yourself, you know, and uh, it's time for celebration. You see in the picture, there's, there's this couple there who's under this beautiful gazebo. And there's, you know, Archangel Gabriel is there watching them and supporting them. So, yeah, this is a, this is a wonderful time. This, this So far, these first two cards are dealing with relationships, you know. Uh, maybe there's going to be a higher commitment. If you're looking in a, in a relationship, higher commitment of, uh, you know, in that relationship. Maybe you're going to say, I love you. You know, maybe you're going to we've been together maybe we're going to get engaged maybe we're going to get married you know take it to a higher level in that if this is not the case then you know if it's a work uh thing yeah it's going to be maybe you're going to get a promotion okay or family or friends they're going to open up they're going to understand you things are going to something to celebrate okay and the romance angel card is attraction It says, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. As you know me, <laughs> you know, I know I'm very strong about uh, law of attraction, you know, and what we think, say, and do at this very moment is an investment into our future, what's going to come back to us. So if you want to attract love or attract certain people or situations, you have to enjoy the moment. You have to be in the moment and focus those energies there and yes you're going to draw them to you and we all know this is part of being lovable you know and being lovable is not finding fault not complaining uh you know not judging uh not being angry no jealousy things like that because when you're that type of person uh no one's attracted to you <laughs> you attract everything that you don't want you know, you're not lovable. So become lovable and surrender and enjoy the moment and 
and really <laughs> we have some changes that are happening. So the next card is the entrepreneur card. And it says self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyal by your side to ensure your success in all ways. Now, uh, you know, since this is a general reading, it's not a one-on-one -on -one reading, you know, of course, not all of you are going to uh, want to start a, a, a business, uh, you know, or become self-employed. So if that's the case, this is a really good card for you, okay? And you have lots of support behind you uh, if this is the case. If this is not the case, this is starting something new, taking control of what you want to do in a spiritual sense, not in an ego sense, okay? So it's times, you know, we have the attraction card here, uh, you know, what you think, say, and do, attraction. If you want to start something new, you have to first be in the, in the right mindset to do this. And this could, again, be, it could be relationship, it could be something else, uh, you know, you know what's going on to you, but it's time to take things to a higher level. It's time to, you know, go ahead and be fearless. Take that step. Start something new. Be the entrepreneur in your life, okay, <laughs> or on a spiritual level. And then number third pile, the first card is, oh, my goodness gracious, the night of water. <laughs> You know, if I say that's a good card, uh, this kind of goes along with this deck. Uh, it says, falling in love or wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. Okay? And water's all about emotions. But how about that? You know, wedding, falling in love or wedding proposals, taking that higher step of commitment you know, uh, to go ahead and do that, to, to go ahead and celebrate. Um, you have to uh, balance, though. <laughs> it can't be all, all one thing and not the other. You have to be able to balance and, of course, being able to compromise. But maybe you're going to be invited to a wedding. Maybe you're going to a wedding. If you're going to a party, we do have the 4th of July coming up on Wednesday. And you know, maybe there's going to be something to do with that. Maybe some people get engaged on the 4th of July. But there's a lot of barbecues and celebrations through the summer. So things are going to be happening. It looks like, uh, you know, the angels are telling me something special is going to be happening at uh, a get-together or an event. Uh, if you're going with your sweetie pie, something could be happening there, okay? If, if you don't get a higher commitment, after that time, but maybe they're feeling something more stronger about you, or maybe you're feeling something stronger about them. Oh my goodness, the world card is next. Wow. Following this night of water. A very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. I really don't have to say anything more about this. Woohoo! Let's see what the romance angels have to say with this. Oh, express your love. I'll go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Like I said, maybe this is the start of something new at an event or uh, maybe, you know, a, uh, a proposal of love or moving in together or engagement or a wedding you know something's going on but go ahead and do it and express your love the angel guidance is telling us to daydream and it says you will um, more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly relax and open your mind to receiving without direct directing your thoughts just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as they were as they were as you were watching a movie. Sorry about that. 
This is the seat of creativity. So go ahead and, and space out, <laughs> daydream. Uh, it's going to take you, give you some insights, um, you know, when you clear your head. I used to daydream a lot when I was younger. <laughs> I used to drift off to places. I don't even know where I went, but I did. <laughs> And so you go ahead and daydream. Take, take, take a few minutes to daydream wherever that you can. And, uh, and so this is part of uh, creativity, part of creating. If this is something, uh, you know, if you want to create a romantic uh, thing, start daydreaming. Start creating your law of attraction. This is something that you want to do. And, of course, staying excited and positive. Stop. Don't find fault. Please don't find fault. You know, don't find fault with, with any of that. Okay, so that's the pick the card reading. I hope uh, you all picked uh, the cards that meant uh, the most to you. And, uh, and let me know how, how uh, the reading went. Oh, gosh, my comments. Let me see. Let's see. Uh, which deck? Um, I don't know which one you're talking about, uh, Ian, but you have to let me know. <laughs> Okay, which deck I was using. <laughs> um, the, the blue cards are the Angel Tarot cards deck from Doreen Virtue. The next cards are the Archangel Power cards and the Romance Angel deck and the Angel Guidance deck, <laughs> the ones I use. So thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to uh, give me a few minutes. I'm going to come back and do a full general reading uh, of, for you and with you, and we'll really hear what the angels' messages have for us all, which is a little bit longer reading, but this was something as personal I can get without actually having a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Okay, so uh, go ahead and, and get yourself something to drink. <laughs> Stay cool, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, thank you all, and know you're powerful when you're knowing when you have God, the ascendant masters, the angels, and archangels. With you, uh, your powerful there's no stopping you. Let your love and peace fall down upon the earth. It is so much needed, okay? <laughs> and know that God blesses and loves you, and so do I. So lots of kisses and hugs, loves from me to you, and I wish you all namaste. Thank you very much. If you're interested in a personal uh, session, of course, let me know. Okay, talk to you later. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye. <laughs>